Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan and we're taking a look at an inventory vehicle here. This is an AE111 Toyota Corolla 11 BZR. And so this one here, kind of like the AE86, it is the, uh, the next one, next one, next one, the very final version of what the AE86 became. And so it still has the 4AG engine. In this case here, we get 20 valves per cylinder. This is called the blacktop engine, and people of the original AE86 steal these engines all the time to put into them because you get 165 horsepower instead of the regular 150 and 120 horsepower in the blue top AE86 engine. And so this is a sports coupe from Toyota, 185, I'm sorry, 165 horsepower front wheel drive, and it's kind of like an Integra Type R, but Toyota version. I would say I like the Integra Type R better than this one here, but, uh, you get these for a lot cheaper than you do of the Integras. Integras are 800, a million, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, somewhere in there. These are generally about half the price, if not a little bit cheaper. And so you can get one of these for a really good deal. You get probably eight tenths of the performance. Um, and it is a little bit smaller than the Integra Type R, and so that gives it a little bit of an edge in terms of weight. I would hope, I don't, <laughs> I actually don't know the weight of both of them uh, side by side, but this is a very lightweight, Front wheel drive sports car and in case you have missed it i have a driving in the mountains video of this one and the cappuccino that we have up for sale right now and so do have a look at that and get my impressions on it this vehicle handles very nicely on the switchbacks uh, not super powerful but revs and revs and revs and keeps giving you big power in the uh, higher rpm band and so it makes it really fun to drive and engine very smooth very easy to handle shifter very smooth oh and six speed manual transmission in this that's something over the dc2 integra type r so take that honda okay so it has some ugly wheels on it so someone's going to need to change that and uh, body wise quite good some things mechanical very close to perfect but the suspension um, didn't notice anything performance wise but when you hit a very small bump you'll hear a little bit of a g -g 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 kind of sound um, still driving it hard in the mountains didn't have any issues with it and i recommend that you get that fixed you can get that fixed here in japan and you basically pay the mechanic fee if you want and then we'll get that fixed for you. I was thinking about getting it fixed before we put it up for sale, but I figure we got this one for less than I thought that we were going to win it for. That means I can sell it for less than I think that it's worth, and then somebody can decide if they want to fix that or if they just want to bring in the car at the super low price and, and fix it themselves or something like that. Um, okay, so taking a look, exhaust header style tubes there, give it high performance. The individual throttle bodies is a big deal. Instead of having one throttle body, you get one, two, three, four, one per cylinder, and the air goes directly through the throttle body into the engine and then out the exhaust. And so gives it a very uh, old school kind of high performance feel before cars got really complicated with computers and stuff. And so this is a dear engine to anyone who likes the 4AG or the AE86 or the MR2, the AW11 version of it. Okay, gonna lower the hood and uh, we could, we could drive this at 8,000 RPM all day long in the mountains. Seems to be quite reliable, and it is Toyota reliability. So let's go over the auction sheet here. Condition is quite good. It's not an R grade, but the vehicle has some uh, R grade characteristics, and so pay extra attention to that. So 1997 Toyota 11BZR, so that's top of the line 11. Also Sprinter Trunneau is a very similar car uh, as the Toyota 11. As you know, they're the brother slash sister cars of one another. Auction grade 3.5, interior C, 102, 203 kilometers, six-speed manual transmission. It feels so good and so easy to shift that, um, really unlike many other six-speeds that I've driven. BZR, super strut suspension. This is a Toyota thing where the control arm on the suspension um, rotates at a different axis, and so what this does is it gives you less understeer, and I have to say it works quite well. The point of rotation on a front-wheel drive car is usually somewhere around here, in terms of how it feels on this car it's pushed back and so it gives you a much cleaner feeling when you're going around the corners i think toyota got rid of it because it's expensive but i don't really know maybe somebody knows more than i do about that okay so uh marks on here okay so windshield rock chip nothing to worry about no issue there in my mind interior is dirty and where airbag lamp is on it's a little bit of a pain but if you don't mind, if you don't mind. Audio has been removed. Interior has stained dirty and animal hair. It's really not that bad, but you know, it could be cleaned to be better. 
Uh, left side has uh, W2 repair marks. So let's have a close look at that. Okay, so I think that it's pretty good. This section here has a couple of like paint defects. And so have an extra close look at that. That one's not ours. It's weird to see an R32 on the street that's not ours. Okay, go down. Come on, focus. You can do it. Try that again. It's trying to focus on what's in the reflection. There. See right there? That's part of the scuff that I was talking about. Okay, so it has that. There's also a dent on the C pillar right here. There you go. And I'd say that this side is generally pretty good. I like the proportions of the car. I like how the fenders here, oh, almost fell down, come way out. Like it looks like the panel was pulled out in order to fit the wider track on the front and then the pinched in front end nose. I do like the headlights. I really like the round fog lights. Make sure you watch our other video of driving the mountains. Really fun car, thumbs up for this. It's definitely tuned for the Japanese roads and not super high power in a straight line, but really fun around the corners. Uh, okay, so end panel and core support. They use the word shiwa. In Japanese, it means wrinkle. It's kind of weird to explain what that is, but if you look, this lines up very good, but not perfectly. And this one as well. And so likely we'll get the same thing on the back. You can't visually see anything, only if you touch it. So you can feel a little bit there and a little bit there. And focus, please. Thank you. Love the look of the taillights. I love the rear spoiler. It's fairly tall and aggressive for being a stock spoiler. BZR. Stock exhaust. Sounds good, not great, but the, the revs just go and it just sounds like it should end, but it doesn't. It's really good. A little bit hazy paint here and up there. It doesn't look like it's damaged to the clear coat. I think that with a polish, it should be good. And um, left front inner panel dented. So this is why I'm saying that it's a little bit R grade ish. So pay attention to that. And this is why we want to read these auction inspection sheets whenever you're buying a car from Japan. Front cross member. Front cross member has been uh, bent or pushed. Front cross member is this one here. And so, here's what it looks like. You tell me if that's bad or not. I don't know. Driving wise and looks wise, I didn't notice anything bad at all. So, I personally would not be worried about that were it my car. It also says peeling paint here. That's kind of what I showed you here. Right, look right here. It's getting dark. What's happening these days? The days are getting so short. Okay, the trunk is reasonably sized. This is a smaller car than the Celica and higher performing than the Celica. So it's kind of weird that, uh, uh, other than the GT4, of course. Interior is pretty normal. Very, uh, you know, lightweight, simple design, very good seating position for those who like Toyota sports cars or who like the CRX, this is going to be a really nice car. Very CRX-like in the way that it drives, actually. Except the clutch and the steering feel better. I really don't like the CRX's steering for some reason, even though it's a, it's a great car. Back seats. It's a two-door coupe, but it does have back seats. And then those back seats flip down to give you a full through, just like the Celica or Celica, depending on your market. Hop in. Red gauges. There's the airbag lamp on there. It is the original steering wheel and it is quite clean and quite nice. Very little amount of wear. 
we get tweeters over here, we get folding mirrors. Okay, somewhere on the shift knob, I got a picture of this and check it out on Facebook. Six, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So simple, so perfect. That's basically what you want all six speeds to feel like, in my opinion. And it's weird because I don't like the Alteza six speed, but I really like this. And I generally much prefer a rear wheel drive feeling transmission than a front wheel drive one. And so this is really strange. AC, turn it on, the AC works, no issues, no cracks in the dashboard, the vents all work properly. It is auto AC, so you set your temperature in degrees Celsius here. I want 24 and a half degrees, like that. Okay, and oh, the revving is so nice, but it's not fun to rev until it gets up to like 4,000. So if you rev it like this, like that's nice, but it revs like faster and more responsive up in the higher RPMs. And this could be due to the um, individual throttle bodies. I drive 11. Ooh, black top engine. I'm an AE86 fan, have been for a very long time, probably about 20 years or so, have owned two of them. And uh, black top is kind of like the engine of gods back when I was into the 86 because it was a brand new engine at that time and very high performing. Yamaha head, kind of like, kind of like the Beams engine, but uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the video for price. Check out the description to the video here. If you're on mobile, that can be a little bit hard to see. Send us an email and uh, ask to buy the car, and we'll say yes, you can buy it, or uh, no, it's already been sold, maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Wow! Wow!